Let's look at how to write a function that calculates factorial. First of all, factorial is when you have a number, like 5 factorial, written in 5 exclamation point, and it is this, the product of 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. In order to calculate factorial, you can do it iteratively by just having a for loop that iterates over the numbers and then creates a product. So I'm going to create a function now. And I call this factorial. And it's going to take in a number as an integer. And it's going to return the value. So I want to first create a number a here, int, and this would be my factorial product. And I'll set that equal to one, just because when you're multiplying times things, it's better not to be zero. Then I'll do a for loop, for int i, and I'm going to initialize my index to be two. And then while it is less than or equal to the number, so i is less than or equal to num, I'm going to increment i and go through it again. So for this, I just take my product and do product times equals whatever is product times equals whatever i is. And so it's going to be going up each time all the way up until I reach the last one. At the end of it, I'll break out a loop and I can return it. All right, so here is my factorial function. Now I'm going to go ahead and prompt the user for a number and then I can give them the factorial. So I use a C out statement and have a quote here or message. Give me a number. And then I'm going to read that into something. So int and this is my number from the user which is different from the one in factorial above. Now I'm going to read into that number using CN, and then I can calculate out my product and display it. So I'll do a C out statement. The value of, and I'm going to put my number here, and then I'll put is, and then I'll put my answer here. And I can just use the function directly, factorial, and then pass in the number. All right. So let's go ahead and give this a try and see how this works. So I run the program. And let's do something easy, first of all. 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1, which would be 6. So I say the value of 3 factorial is 6. Go ahead and run it again. And then I give it a number 5, which is 120. So it's working. And this shows you how to write an iterative factorial function.